James 3. It's labeled Tangming the Tongue. <laughs> Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grape vine bear figs? Neither can salt spring produce fresh water. Proverbs says that the, the tongue has power of life and death. Our words have power. What we say really matters, and words can really hurt people. No matter who you are, no matter what you believe, words can really hurt people. So I really think, like the Bible says, we need to be slow to speak and just quick to listen. We really need to just be careful what we say to people because they can, it really hurts. Like words hurt. They hurt. And I don't think people, even myself, like we don't realize how much our words can affect people because we don't know people's, we don't know what anyone's really going through. Like if someone's having a really bad day and you just say something that is, you don't think would be bad because maybe you joke around a lot and you don't think it would be hurtful. That could really hurt somebody, what you say. I've been there where I've said stuff that I didn't think would hurt someone, but then it actually really affected them because they were just having a bad day. So I just think we need to just be kind in every situation we're in. And I mean, as Christians, if we say something that isn't nice and another person who is a Christian who maybe is just learning about God hears you say that, they may think that it's okay to say stuff like that, but it's not. Like what, you know, what... James said in this book, can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? Nope. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursings. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. We need to make sure what we're saying is pleasing to God in a whole other conversation. I used to think cursing was okay because it's just words, but like I said, words have power. I would convince myself that it's okay as a Christian to curse, to swear, because, oh, they're just man-made words. That's true. They're worldly world. They are worldly words. They are not pleasing to God. They are not uplifting. They are not kind. I wouldn't curse if God was right next to me. And guess what? He literally is. Holy Spirit's with me all the time in my heart. So why am I speaking so poorly? Why am I being rude? Why am I... Why am I praising and cursing from the same mouth? I shouldn't be doing that. That's what it says right here in the Bible. Words have power. That's all I'm trying to get across. Like they really do matter. Our words matter. What we say matters because our words really do affect people. And I really just hope that what you're getting from this is just to be kind and to just think before you speak. It's something I pray every single morning that God would just let me be slow to speak and quick to listen and just really guard what I say because I don't want what I'm saying to bring someone in the wrong direction to think of faith in a different way because i i'm open with my faith now and i live for god not this world and i don't want someone to fall in their faith and stumble in their walk with god because of something i say i just think that's something to think about as christians when we're around other people and christians we got to be careful what we say because we can really affect some people 
and make them think that it's okay to do things that we're doing when we know it's not okay. And then we can maybe ask God for forgiveness in our own time. But what about them? They don't see you asking for forgiveness. They don't see you turning away from that sin. They just see you doing the sin and think that maybe, oh, it's okay to do that when it's not. <laughs> words have power. Our words, the power of life and death, they matter. So please just praise God with your lips. Be kind. Think before you speak. That's all. Just love people. Be kind. <laughs> it's not that hard. And if you don't have anything else to say, don't say anything at all. Please. <laughs> okay. I love you. Give yourself some grace also. We're not perfect. I mess up. You mess up. It's gonna happen. That's why God died for us. That's why Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. Ask for forgiveness. We're saved. Repent from the sin. We're good to go. Okay. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. You are so loved by God. Just be nice.